welcome to Crafty Carpet TV. I'm James and I'm here with Christian Gross from Scale Clothing who are from Germany and Christian tell us a little bit about the brand. Uh, yeah first of all maybe sorry for my English I think it's not the best but I will do my very best so um, yeah what's about our company we uh, start two years ago okay. um, first with a style range um, it um, um, starts with hoodies and some shirts now we have also some some jackets we have towels and some accessories towels, like that yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, uh, we have also some bigger stickers for the car and stuff like Got that it. but that were more, more um, uh, questions from customers um, our um, main products are um, clothing, functional clothing, okay. so we um, uh, go forward then with a functional uh, range um, that we only use licensed products like Gore-Tex, Ventile, Polartex. So it's Fleet. high-end stuff, yeah. Yeah, it's really high-end stuff. It comes out of the uh, outdoor sector. Yeah. So, um, so the, the style side of things is a case of, you know, it's like what you've got on now. Yeah. It, lo it looks cool, different colours, it's not your standard you know, green with a little logo on, and then you've also got your functional stuff. Yeah, it isn't. And um, first, um, it was not easy to communicate that to uh, the customers also in Germany. Mm -hmm. We have um, what we um, see now here in England. Um, we saw the same in Germany at the beginning because um, it is something different, and it's not. Um, yeah, the the customers are. Um, in the beginning, they are thinking about uh, such um, um, different colors, uh, like purple. So maybe the fish will see it. I think <laughs> the fish never see it because yeah. there are also passengers coming through a uh, yellow Jack Wolfskin jacket, so yeah. the fish can also see them. But I, I think they maybe can recognize shadows or something like that, but not the colors. But not the actual so. colors. So what's, yeah. what, what's attracted you to bring the brand to the UK and, you know, in particular launch it at the Carpin On Show? Um, for sure, we want to create a m more a lifestyle, I think. Right. Uh, okay. that was, uh, but that was also the step in, in Germany. We saw so many guys wearing green jackets, torn jackets, something like that, and we we c I come together with our designer in a in a in a, a company where we both were um, uh, team anglers. Right. So um, and we thought about creating someone something new, a bit more um, styly, a bit more use. Yeah, yeah. So something that more people will sort of like want to use. Yeah, for sure. And, and, and you you think that sort of like that's possible within the UK? You know, they they wanting they wanting that sort of thing over here. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Um, we now deliver our uh, clothes in five different countries in Europe. Um, um, not at, not yet England, but um, we thought about hopefully, yeah, yeah coming here and maybe find some retailers. Yeah, try, so you know, try and get a foothold in the market here. Yeah. Um, being from Germany, tell us a little bit about the carp angling. Mm, I think um, for us, it's it's really interesting to see what's going on here because right. I think it's it's a bit different than in Germany um, in Germany you have um, a st still growing cow fishing scene you have a right. lot of young uh, uh, guys uh, find this hobby and um, they are doing it um, pretty well so yeah. they, they are really interested in they they like it and it's gone more popular in, oh, yeah. in Germany, and um, but we the, the 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 lakes are different from from England. I think we have also small lakes with a big pressure on, mm -hmm. but we have a lot of bigger lakes, and the kind of fishing um, is a bit different. I think oh, yeah. most of the times we pre bait a lot. And um, what are you talking when you when you when you mean pre baiting? How much are we talking? Oh, in the summer times um, when I sometimes go to France or also fishing in Germany. Um, it is really it it happens really often that I uh, feed fifteen or twenty or twenty five kilo every second day. Every second day. Yeah, and then um, I pre bait an area like in like a football field maybe. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's spread out then. Yeah. yeah. 
But they, yeah. are they big baits as well? Or? Yeah. Yeah, also big baits because we have um, uh, most of the time big baits because we have uh, so much breams and tents, tenches mm. in, in the lakes. Um, all these micro pellets. <laughs> I saw we have a, a few things or a lot of things coming from England, like the Corda stuff. A lot of German guys using it. Mm. But when you see these micro pellets or the, all these liquids and this stuff, the, the German guys think, what? The, the tent's going crazy on this so yeah. and you have so much um, little fish on the spot and, and they don't want it and so they pre bait in more um, 24, 28, 30 millimeter really? bodies so so, yeah. so fishing a solid bag with micro pellets <laughs> no. and a little piece of corn won't, won't cut it, no? Um, maybe there are also uh, <laughs> lakes in Germany where you can do it but it is um, not the normal way I think no. I would not do it No. Do you, th do you think both the English and the German side of things could learn from each other's different styles of angling or? For sure, for sure. I'm so impressed now and I got so much experiences here from, this, um, from these guys that I'm really, really interested. I'm also interested about can I, as a German guy, come here and fish? Can I get a license? Can I maybe... Uh, I, I also like this urban stuff like, uh, like Alan. Alan uh, Blair, yeah. So, yeah, cool. uh, can I come to London and fish mid of town on the Thames, maybe? Yeah, do so, it. Get yeah, yourself over. Yeah, maybe uh, I will do it. We, uh, we are out for a DVD project now uh, this year uh, for over nine weeks in France. So, um, uh, yeah, I'm searching uh, every year for for stuff like that, yeah. to create something new, to... It's only another ferry across to London, you know? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for sure. But in Germany, most of the people think it is not possible for us to fish here. Really? That's the point. And, and do you think this, the type of lakes and the type of fishing we have over here would appeal to the German market? For sure, yeah. for sure. And, um, but the German guys, they hear words like syndicate water, and they think Oh, okay, maybe there are clubs managing these waters and I can't get in this club, mm. so I can't get uh, fishing over there. So, and because they never try. Yeah. I know maybe three or four anglers from Germany go to England, fish there and come back. That yeah. was it. I mean, there, there are a hell of a lot of data key waters in the UK anyway, yeah. so, you know, can, anyone can come across fish wherever they want, whenever they want, most of the time. Yeah. You know, just do a bit of research, look for data key waters, there are loads up and down the country. Yeah. Um, but moving back to your clothing, you know you've got a lot of high-end technical wear. You know yeah. what, what what stands it above the rest? Yeah, I think um, uh, to get a look on the functional range, maybe uh, I got some. Uh, I got one product uh, uh, with me. It, you can lift it up, right? Yeah, it 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 uh, uh, no, shows what the technical uh, um, things mean. How can I have a look at that? Sure. Yeah, this is our Odin jacket, yep. and. Uh, um, for sure we have a lot of other jackets like Gora membrane, but this material is very impressive, I think. Yes. Um, is it, uh, <coughs> what's that, is that Ventec or? This is Ventile Ventec cotton. Material. Uh, Ventile cotton is the only cotton uh, on the world market which is totally waterproof and highly breathable. Um, I can show you this on, uh, I think this is very impressive. I think I might want to move my chair. <laughs> yeah. Um, when you, Let's have a look. When you put a bit of water inside, you can see it. Whoa, that's so, yeah, oh, yeah. sorry. That beat up. It's alright, don't worry. So, but I think this is very impressive. Yeah, so, very good. Um, yeah, instead of a, a, a Gora membrane, um, Gora, it's, it's, it feels a bit like plastic. So, right. it is a loud material. It's not so soft. This is really soft. Uh, yeah. it, it's, you can, it wears, uh, it, it uh, feels very comfortable. Oh, you have the trousers as well then, yeah? Yeah, we have the trousers as well. I, I wear it actually. And um, yeah, it it is not so loud as a gore membrane when you go for stalking, maybe. Right. Okay. Uh, this uh, material uh, is very soft. It isn't loud, and uh, yeah, it feels yeah. comfortable. I mean, when it comes to functional, that is very functional, isn't it? I mean, you know, yeah. it's, it's light. It's very, very waterproof. Yeah. Uh, you've got pockets galore, haven't you? Yeah. So you know, is there anything else we? We should be uh, expecting to see here in the UK over the next couple of years, or for sure. Um, uh, we have now this style range. Um, I I think um, I, um, maybe maybe it's um, uh, important to say all of our products we produce on ourselves. Um, there is nothing 
we uh, buy from other suppliers. So, so we get you, you the do the cotton. full manufacturing yeah. process. We get the cotton, we make everything on ourselves. So we can normally, we have a guarantee for our customers on the style range one year, on the function range five years. That's so um, also when you uh, destroy a jacket by yourself, mm -hmm. We will maybe an arm. We would take the arm off, make a new one on it. Costs you nothing. You get <laughs> really? the jacket back. So and um, here the same. We need. Uh, we use silicon in our prints, so it uh, will not. It, w it won't come off in the wash yeah, at all. No. Yeah. yeah. And we use only uh, organic cotton, so um, the color um, will not bleach out. Yeah. Okay. And um, yeah, we are a bit more expensive, but I think we have a really high quality. And um, yeah, for sure. In the future, we will make mm. also a streetwear collection. All right. Okay. So um, we want because we think um, angling people not only at the waterfront every day, so they are go also for yes. work and yeah. something like that. So or have some free times with friends in the disco. So in the disco, <laughs> yeah. Maybe in the disco <laughs> or in the pub. Or <laughs> <That's> <laughs> you invite me for tonight. <laughs> so um, yeah, we will also make. Um, some stuff um, you can wear in your free time, not only yeah. for the it waterfront. It's not just a case of wearing it on the bank. Yeah. You know, you can wear it wherever you want, whenever you want. Yeah. It's like you know, you can go to work in your purple hoodie. Yeah, for no. sure. But we have also yeah. a lot of friends uh, from angling people mm -hmm. um, say, "Wow, these hoodies are cool. I would like to get one, but without a fish." So, right, got you. and because of this, we will make maybe uh, some stuff without uh, angling motifs, um, but also very styly, hopefully, uh, yeah. for 2015. Perfect. We're certainly impressed, Christian. Um, we've got to wrap up now because we're running out of time today. But is there anything else you want to add to this? Uh, yeah, maybe the last thing I can say is that we are focused on customer wishes. So, um, we have a lifetime uh, um, repair service. All right. Um, if the seams comes off any time, we can repair nearly everything, and it costs nothing uh, uh, to the customers. Uh, just Brilliant. shipping, shipping cost, and um, yeah, for sure. If the angling market is a bit different, and um, the angling market don't want to to uh, to to wear purple, maybe mm -hmm. we can also custom make things for for retailers. If they want all the motifs in green, we can do it in green. It's no problem because Perfect. we produce it on ourselves. Well, that's brilliant. Thank you very much for your time, Christian. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you very much, Phil. Good to meet you.